hi guys welcome back to my channel jesus tv my return subscribers thank you all so much for viewing my channel and thank you all so much for your beautiful comments in the comment section my return subscribers i really appreciate you all my new viewers please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i won't forget to say you're welcome and please also turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i post a video actually um queen naomi's outfit is looking beautiful i mean she's looking dazzling in all her outfits i mean she's always looking gorgeous so but hmm. so someone commented in the comment section that um queen naomi um has pride that it was actually pride that made her not to um that she should put down her pride and go back to the palace and apologize to the king another person actually said that um she actually betrayed the king by um announcing her divorce with the king on social media well uh, i don't actually know what to say i mean but before i actually judge people my person i'll put myself in their shoes and think about it what if i was to be the one what will i do or what would i have done at the moment well but the the answer still remains that only if he truly loves queen naomi i mean he loved queen naomi more than i have seen him love other queens yes because the things that he actually did for queen naomi um would actually make you know that he has actually loved this woman for a long time it is true that he has been married for like few months now to a new woman and since february per se but he has not actually announced that to the world and another thing is that um he was actually hurt by i mean he was actually taken on unawares by queen naomi i mean he didn't actually know that um things would actually get out of hand like this so but i think a lot of most of the people around on your of if are the ones that have already made him understand that he is a king and he is pro to um pro to um apologizing to a woman when he is wrong well my wonderful people so let me take you people back to what on your fifa actually wrote before he married queen naomi as when he um newly married queen naomi he said i waited patiently upon the almighty the king of kings he eventually did it in the midst of many trials sekinola moronke naomi the greatest asna you can apply on this highly revered throne with many rubs and reg uh, with many rules and regulations in the midst of undiluted tradition heritage and culture is the fear of god in you which is the beginning of your wisdom on this throne of Odudua. you are welcome home my beauty and adorable queen so which shows that he actually adored queen naomi but you all know that he is a handsome king and many let me tell you people many yoruba women many Ileife women actually want the king to marry them they actually because from the way the king speaks from the way he talks have you heard um one um analysts on social media on facebook uh, ye -ye Kudi, analyze the king the king is on your fifa is a handsome man and very very intelligent when i mean intelligent highly intelligent you 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 hear him talk you hear him speak you hear him address the crowd he doesn't even look at the paper he speaks from without a book in his hands and that is exactly how intelligent the king is. So, with the way he carried Queen Naomi, I knew that um, a lot of people, it didn't sit well with a lot of people in the palace, especially women. 
that has been coming around him and you know showing him love affection by bringing in gifts and all that so they were all marveled that immediately he saw queen naomi he actually fell in love with her and actually wrote to her that he wants to marry her. this is something he, he couldn't he didn't even do that in front of queen naomi because he didn't know how she was going to feel actually queen naomi brought the gospel to the palace but the king wrote to her to ask her to marry him do you understand which shows that he actually loved her didn't know how to approach her well my beautiful people but you all know that most people must have filled this heart with um hate and all that normally when a man or a woman offends i mean when couples offend each other i mean things really reach to used to get out of hand no marriage is perfect but because of the love each other shared the person that must have offended the other person will come back and apologize no matter their status that is how marriage is designed so but um truly it is true that most people in the palace or most people that actually love the only and want to keep him for themselves and want him for themselves will not actually allow him to go and um, apologize to his wife and all that but that is the truth that is how marriage is supposed to work but the truth is that the people that advises the king will tell him there are many ocean um, um, fishes in the ocean pick one so it is also true that um this recent queen that he actually married that they've been dating for a long time even while queen naomi was in the palace that is the gist so you see okay there are so many fishes in the ocean that was why I think that is one of the reasons why the king didn't bother going back. So I keep asking people that are actually saying, um, Queen Naomi did this, Queen Naomi did that. Have you actually put yourself in your sh in in her shoes and think of yourself or your any of your siblings, any of your sisters or your daughter and say to myself, what if I am in this position? What would I have done? Do you understand? I mean, that would actually make you to have a little... Um, you have conscience but anyway at the same time marriage is to be um not to be endured it is to be it, it is to be enjoyed but um most things um women you know swallow a lot just to keep their marriage you know just because of their children and all that but most women do not have patience for such but don't forget queen naomi when she left the palace might not have the or when she did the announce announcement might, might not um she might not be thinking that okay it would have gotten to this extent that the king won't come back to apologize that is the real fact but the truth is that she actually forgot that the king has so many advisors in the palace and and a lot of them will actually be happy that the marriage didn't last and they will advise him to pick another person and to move on but to in conclusion i just wanted you people to know that kwenomi is actually the only woman the only can or would have loved to an extent yes because he actually actually did a lot for queen naomi that is a fact following her to night videos allowing her to hold her crusade um um allowing her hold her fellowship in the palace um you know and so many things that a core traditionalist wouldn't have done if not love that is a fact so my beautiful people um that is what i really want to um bring to um, our notice most of us so that um you all know how much um the king actually loved queen naomi how he actually displayed his affection for queen naomi in even in public he didn't hide it even till now he didn't hide he's not i'm not sure he is he's going to hide it even if he married another queen it can never be like 
Queen Naomi. Though he is entitled to as many queens as he desires, that is the culture, that is the tradition. But the heart loves whom it loves. The heart chooses whom to love. And this is it. So, my beautiful people, thank you all for always listening to my gist, for always coming around, for your beautiful comments in the comment section. I really appreciate you all. And to my new viewers, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to tap on the notification bell so you get notified anytime I post a video. Have a nice day.